What's up, poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this mother sucker, baby. We're about to see what's going down in love for all of my Pisces. So with that being said, make sure you guys check out all of my birthday readings, all of my weekly readings as well, too. You already know I love you. So with that being said, no trick ass shit, no mark ass shit, no bitch ass shit. No dumb ass shit in my comments. Okay, no projections and things. Don't be getting mad at me and taking your personal problems out on me. Okay, if you need to get a personal reading, hit that description box. Okay. So, let's see what's going down for all of my Pisces. I do have some clarity messages as well, too. But her, hit the... Her. Hit the help. Now, listen. Before I start, before I say to cars and do all that extra shit, I have a question. Why is it that they say like attracts like when... I've noticed that a lot of Pisces have healed themselves, have done a lot of healing. Why is it that we attract people that don't last that long? And if they do last that long, is it like that attracts like? Do you attract people that are into the things that you're into? What is it that keeps you going once you find out that it's not going to be something permanent? It's going to be just temporary. Answer me that in the, in the comments. And do you be attracting drunks and sewer rats and things and you eye class? Okay, answer me that. Because I know for me, it shall, it shall be that. And I make it very clear. Okay, very clear. Clear as day. Bitch, I'm not feeding you. I'm not catering to you. I'm not doing that mama's boy shit. I'm not doing that extra shit. Okay. No. Okay, you can just eat it from the back if I want you to. <laughs> but other than that, what about companionship? You know what I mean? Like, is the attraction, does it stay there? Do you start to see... People's value fade once you get to know them. Answer me that in the comments. And also, you know, bitch, don't be. Uh, I don't even drink, so why am I attracting whiskey dicks? Huh? Why am I attracting drunks? I don't even drink. Why do they say it like attracts like? I really want to know that. I really want to read all of the opinions on that and tell me your experience as well, too. All right, so let me jump right on into this shit. I'm just saying. You know, sometimes, you know, some people start to. See the dating pool decrease because you start to see your value go upgrade. Okay, some of y'all could be getting married. Okay, there could be some sort of wedding being planned for some of you all. All right, here we go. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. You are welcome into this Piscean reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods. So I do feel like uh, for some of you guys, there's a relationship that's building here, but you also might feel like it's stagnant. Um, I'm also getting that there could be something from the past in this relationship that's um, outside parties that are keeping a lot of things resistant, okay, or hard. Because y'all know people be holding on to shit, ex-girlfriends, ex-baby mamas, ex-wives, and shit like that. Be holding on for their life. Okay, knowing this shit ain't gonna change. The partnership didn't work. Okay, they be trying to keep tabs on you. Okay, I even know uh, a few Pisces shit. Well, the Pisces men. Y'all tell me men too. Shit, this gonna be a questionnaire tarot. <laughs> men, tell me, how do you all feel about, about multiple partners all at once? You know, and I got to answer, I got to ask questions like, when I have clients, I got to ask them, would you marry you? Like, if you called that much, if you text that much, or if you didn't text at all, okay, did you watch a coochie good enough, okay, would you eat that? Would you suck that? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Are your terms of endearment the same? Is you guys' spiritual practice on the same level? And if you guys were to elevate, are you guys going to be elevating at the same time together? Those are things that are very questionable, all right? Especially if you feel like you don't have, if you have somebody that you just can't trust or you always got to consistently think about what it is that they're doing or 
how they're going to be. We have, I wish you would come back. And you didn't imagine that. Wow. So they're missing you, wishing that you would make a return, okay? I don't know if this is going up to the street or if you left a motherfucker five years ago. We also have, you didn't imagine that. So this is something that was unexpected, surprises, okay? All of a sudden. We're going to see what this is about. Give it to me for the week. You didn't break me and I've been here before with others. So this is a routine pattern, baby. Mm. You're going to have to be doing some fact checking at the beginning of that relationship. It says, I hope I will see you again sometime. So some of you guys might be at a distance. Okay, but I wish you would come back. I mean, you didn't imagine that. I'm getting that somebody might have a distant relationship here. Or this person might feel distant. You have, you are not a part of my plan. And I've been struggling. So somebody doesn't know what they want to do in the future. Okay, they could be trying to do some sort of research or talk to other people to find out information about the relationship or the situation. All right, let's see what's up. Give things for my Pisces. In love. We have the two of swords on their side. So they're very indecisive here. Also six of pentacles as well. Some of you guys might feel like you don't want to invest in this energy. Okay, you also might just be all about making your plans or... Okay, checks and balances of the situation with the six of pentacles. Having to outweigh your relationship between each other. Okay. Who's giving? Who's equally? Is it equally yoked? Okay. If this motherfucker fall and fail, honey... Are you going to have to pick them back up? Build their crutches for them? Are you going to want to do that? It's like some people get in relationships in order to see if, if they aren't good for relationships. So really think about that. All right. Waste your time. Give you wrinkles and crinkles and things. You have the two of wands also. Four of cups energy here and chariot. So some of you guys are wanting to move forward. It could be dealing with the Cantonian. Also Leo, Sag, and Eddie's. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Okay, we got cards falling. Ten of Wands coming out. Also Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, so somebody's trying to figure out if they want to be single or not. If they want to keep holding on to the situation. Is somebody in illusions? Damn, that was a fortune is jumping. Okay, also Eight of Cups and Tower. Some of you guys might be dealing with the Scorpio. But somebody's wanting to walk away. Okay, or like I said, could be at a distance or somebody's like, you're going to have to kiss my ass if you're not ready to communicate or talk to me, baby. Who to me for my Pisces? Give me the outcomes for the week. Queen of Pentacle energy here and also Page of Pentacles. So somebody's all about their coin. Like I said, it's like somebody going back and forth or this could be about somebody who's young or immature. Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. Okay. Also, moon energy and king king of wands and the moon. Two of cups here could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You might find out some sort of truth about their true feelings in love. Okay, or how they come together in their connection. Or we also have the death energy. So this could be some sort of reunion or someone trying to reunite the energies. Death energy here. Okay, so it's some unfinished business. Justice energy could be dealing with possible Libra. Also Aquarius, okay, and Nine of Pentacles as well. So somebody's starting to see if they need some sort of independence or they're wanting to see through the if they're getting messages of being independent or uh, non-committal here. Okay, also could be dealing with the judicial system. Ace of Wands, somebody just needs some sex, honey. And that just cures it all, okay? They argue a little bit, go back and forth. Okay, try not to get too far. Okay, and establishing boundaries as well, too, is what I'm getting with the Six of Swords and also Knight of Pentacles. This also could be moving or relocating or something like that. Or somebody might be just trying to figure out what's going to make them um, get away from a situation. 
all right? Or if somebody's going to have to move or change places or changing places. Okay, devil energy here. Lord have mercy. So I do feel like there's a lot of um, a lot of bondage. All right. So let's get um, what you need to do. What does Pisces need to do about the situation? And then we're going to get some singles. Okay, five of pentacles as well. So ten of pentacles. Okay, some of you guys are going to be all about your money, legacy, long term. Like I said, or thinking about things in connections with long term. Are you looking at the situation as though it's financial? Okay, happiness. Are you looking at the relationship as this, if it's going to be some sort of marriage or something was standing here? Okay. Also, like I said, you got them crutches, baby. Somebody might hurt themselves or something, so you just need to be careful. Okay, but this is being left out, cold out, left out in the cold and not being able to handle your business because you're having to catch up and, and, and figure out what's a crutch. And what you're willing to deal with. Okay, especially family values. Sun energy and also the devil here. Okay, so there's going to be some sort of truth on what you need to do. Okay, is this going to be something that you are waiting in suspense to see how they're going to act or react? But I do feel like it's a lot of love and nurturing energy here. It's just for some of you guys, it needs to be some sort of initiation or a start over or Sex initiation or something. I used to watch it and it was in reverse. Okay, maybe that's why they're struggling. Okay. I'm also feeling like some of you guys don't trust this person as well. And you can read it through their body language or you can read it through their face. All right. But I feel like they're going to tell you something face to face or there's going to be some sort of phone call. Also, it could be somebody of the past as well, too. So give me possible outcomes. Give me possible outcomes, and then we'll see about the singles. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, so it's some love. Okay, like I told y'all, in the current, and you have the Five of Wands, it just might be a struggle, just messiness or pettiness or just little small, minute disagreements, okay? I'm also getting, some of you guys are going to be letting something go. Could be dealing with a possible torn energy here. This Wheel of Fortune keeps showing up, so it's automatically telling me that there could be a break of some sort. Okay, and then there's forward movement. Let's see what's popping with the singles. I'm scared, honey. And I'm getting my comments. I'm like, you're projecting. That doesn't happen on my relationship. I've never done this on that, bitch. Okay. I told you I got to look down and be like, baby, you okay down there? You, you, you okay? So. <laughs> All right, give it to me for my singles. What did they need to know about for the week? We have real shit and fight. Also talented. Okay, some of you guys are too motherfucking real for these people out here. You also have transport and talented. So, roll up in lovers and friends. I'm getting that somebody might just have some sort of smoke session. Okay, or this is definitely some sort of vibe coming up. What's this? So, like I told y'all in the other video on Pisces Pop. Listen, don't be having these people have you. Uh, uh, uh thinking that you got away from them and then you trying to get to somebody else or deal with somebody nicer okay and you all broken up inside and they trying to keep you broken for the next motherfucker because they can't have you that's what i'm feeling we got vibe here so pisces y'all motherfucking vibe okay we got somebody mama and not good oh lord so this could be um Somebody who's starting to open up to why certain things happen the way that they needed to happen in a relationship. Damn, this always start getting deep and shit. You got the moon energy. Okay, and also my blank card. So you get ready to find out here in the next month. Okay, during Pisces season. That there's going to be a lot of growth here. You might just be staying too busy as well too. Okay, yeah, hustle. Damn, let's always come out for the singles. Y'all just going to be all about making that money, taking care of bills, buying what you need to buy. Okay, this also could be um, going on vacations as well, too. But you got a real reality check. And somebody might be acting desperate coming up as well. So you got somebody daddy and desperate. Okay, also sit your motherfucking ass on down. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
and we need sex and drink. And I'm also seeing that some of you guys, y'all ain't trying to be no side uh, piece, okay? Like I said in my vlog, you got to figure out when these motherfuckers, because they single, they not married. You got to figure out if a motherfucker is being trill. Okay, but somebody might reach out to you is what I'm seeing here. Okay, or some of you guys might... Uh, yeah, this is a lot of work situations. There's also five of pentacles and two of cup of energy here. Okay, so it's love here, but this is something all of a sudden. Also, some of you guys are trying to stay away from temptation is what I'm seeing here with this devil. Shit. Okay, avoiding uh, smoking and drinking. And, uh, 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 dealing with different energies and energy exchanges. Okay. Knight of pentacles. And also Knight of Swords. All right. I'm seeing a lot of work here. But with the world here, it's saying that the world is endless. Endless colors, changes, okay? Some of you guys are free to do whatever it is that you want. Baby, y'all know what time it is. You can play with all the energies in the world that you want to. It's your choice, your option. Also, I'm seeing somebody online that's scouting you out of possible legal Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Okay, but somebody's thinking that you may have somebody else, but it's going to be all about the money. Okay, what's love got to do with it? And staying away from things in the past and certain patterns and toxic behaviors is what I'm seeing for my singles, baby. But somebody is looking at you. All right, they just might feel like they're going to take a gamble or something. Okay, or you might be taking a gamble. I love you, Pisces. Oh, so much. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.